Hey guys, welcome back to the show. I'm so glad you're here. I want to talk to you today about something that has the power to really create a huge impact in your life. And that is a little word called gratitude. And I know we've talked about this before and you probably have read about it before, but being able to connect with and express gratitude has really life altering results. And I think if you are looking to boost your mood, lower your stress, improve your relationships, connecting with gratitude and expressing gratitude is going to help you to do all of the above. And one of the ways that you can do that is by creating a habit or daily practice around this. It could be possibly even a gratitude journal. And I just want to talk a little bit about what gratitude is, what it does to our minds, what it does to our bodies, and how we can implement this into our everyday and really feel um, the results of that. And so I believe we always have a choice. I believe we always have a choice on what we can focus on. And we can choose to focus on a lot of the negative things going on in our world. We could get weighed down by the daily stresses of our jobs and of the things that we have to do. And it can become easy to focus on that, on the negatives. And especially if you're going through maybe a rough patch, I get it. The good news is that it can be just as easy to shift your thinking and focus on things that are more positive, focus on things that will shift your perspective into what you have to be grateful for. And research, there's a lot of research behind this. Research has shown us that developing a mindset of gratitude can significantly increase our well being. It can raise our happiness quotient and can bring a lot of health benefits, as I talked about, lowering stress and just improving our overall health and probably even boosting our immunity. So, how do you create this habit of finding the good by focusing on the positive and then expressing gratitude? I think, first of all, like I said, it's a choice. And it's just about putting our mind towards the things that will have us see things in a more positive light. So it requires a little reset or reframe. Here's a bigger impact to consider, okay? Just the act of acknowledging and appreciating the little things in life could rewire our brains to deal with challenging situations with more awareness and strength. And then think about, if you do that daily, how that would compound. So I have something here I'm going to quote. According to UCLA's Mindfulness Awareness Research Center, making a regular practice of expressing gratitude causes a process called neuroplasticity to occur, which means that the molecular structure of our brain creates new neural pathways towards positivity. Your brain is an amazing organ. And so it has the ability to create these new neural pathways. Meanwhile, a study at Yale University found that keeping a journal resulted in higher levels of enthusiasm, determination, and energy. My message to you today is to inspire you to think about creating a daily habit around a, a gratitude journal. Really, why not? What are we waiting for? We see the, the research, we're reading the facts, and I think if we were to use our journal to focus on the small joys in life, even if it's just a few minutes a day, we could see a really great improvement in a lot of areas of our life. And here's a couple of things to think about in terms of journaling. First of all, there are no fixed rules when it comes to journaling. I think sometimes I bring this up in conversation and I have people respond in a lot of different ways, right? Some people are like, oh, I love to journal. I've been journaling since I was a kid. And other people are like, no, it's not for me. Before you decide that journaling is not your thing, don't make it such a big deal. It, it really could just take a couple of minutes. And I think that when we are able to apply pen to paper and allow our thoughts to hit that paper, great things happen. I think creative um, energy flows and it just gives us an outlet. You could write it in a notebook. You could use the notebook app on your phone. You could buy a pretty journal, a specific gratitude journal, whatever works for you. But I think there's a lot to be said by creating an intention and just setting even a 10 minute routine around this. 
It could be something you do first thing in the morning. It could be something you do at the end of your day. Maybe for some of you, you want to start your day and end your day with a little gratitude journal. Whatever works for you. But for a lot of us, we might just want to start small. I think that we can find ourselves doing a lot of things during the day. And I get it if you're having a lot on your plate right now. If you're, as I said, in a rough patch, this might seem a little daunting. Just find 10 minutes, 10 minutes before bed or 10 minutes when you first get up to sit down and just focus on something, even if it seems small, focus on something positive and jot it down. Focus on something that brought you joy, something that worked out well, something that you feel you can appreciate, right? It could even be something like the sunlight coming through the window or how warm your bed felt or the smile you got from someone at the bank. It doesn't matter, right? Just allow yourself to find and connect with things that are positive and that brought you some kind of happiness or joy. Now, if you want to get more detailed, that's fine too, because I think the more detailed we become around the things that we're grateful for, then we actually start reprogramming our thoughts, right? We allow that neuroplasticity to start to create those new neural pathways. And how that starts to change us is that we now start to look for things during the day to be grateful for. So what I'm saying is if you create this habit, this habit of starting or ending your day with with gratitude and writing it down in your journal, then as you do that more and you become more and more detailed, you're going to find that your brain is going to search for things throughout your day that will allow you to then share it in your journal, right? You're going to look for things to be more positive. So you're actually changing the lens in which things. Now, does this mean that negative or shitty things don't happen to you during the day? No, it just means that you're going to have a greater attachment to the positive things than you are to the negative things. And this is why we want to do it because of all those overall health benefits, right? We want to shift our energy. Now, you can then also create a ritual around reviewing things in your gratitude journal because that will allow you to connect with those memories and bring that up. And I think it also allows our brain to start looking forward and creating a desire to want to get into those practices of identifying positive things to be grateful for and putting them in your gratitude journal. So it could be as simple as two or three things that you write down. I don't think this has to become a laundry list. I think it could be maybe no more than three to five things that you might find that you're grateful for. Maybe you also create a couple of journal prompts around this. Let me give you one. The best part of my day was, that could be a great thing to put in your journal. The best part of my day was, maybe you also want to identify how you turned a negative into a positive. So that could look like despite blank happening, It all worked out because, so that could be another great journal prompt. And I think that I'll give you a third one. It could be identifying something you learned today too, right? Because I'm always looking to learn new things. I live for the aha moments. I never want to be the smartest person in the room. So you might even want to identify the one thing you learned today. So those are just three questions or three journal prompts, three statements that could get you started. But honestly, like I said, it could just be something as simple as I'm grateful for the hot water in my shower this morning. And I think the more that we do this, we're going to see that it becomes a natural mood booster. I'll say that again, natural mood booster. (laughs) I think that it will help us to turn those negatives into positives. And I think it will also help us set more positive intentions, right? Like I said, we have a choice. We can decide whether or not we want to cultivate more gratitude. And as I said, it's always easy to focus on the negatives, but I truly believe that our life can change when we put some of these small practices into place. I first learned about the concept of a gratitude journal from the queen herself, Oprah Winfrey. (laughs) And I know she is someone who's talked about how doing this has changed her life. And I probably have been doing this for the last 20 years. And I believe that it's a great reminder. And I believe that it does help us to get our lives into perspective. 
that's my advice for you on gratitude. If you've been feeling a little overwhelmed lately, or if you are longing to connect with a feeling of more joy or fulfillment, then this could be a great place to start, this concept of a gratitude journal. And basically, it's just making it more of a priority. And as I said, when you do, I think you'll get through your day and find more things to be grateful for. And I get it. My life is still crazy busy, too. And though I'm moving in a lot of directions, I'm continuously grateful for having the opportunities. I'm continuously grateful for having the stamina to keep up with my crazy life. I'm continuously grateful for the people around me who leverage me and make it easier for me to do the things I do. So that's what it's like. That's what it's like to spend for a moment and connect with your gratitude. And again, however you do it is up to you, but just make some time to do it. I think when you do, you'll find that you'll radiate and generate a different kind of energy and that could attract wonderful things for you, right? Because I believe that what we put out into the world is what we attract back. So that could be another benefit of creating this daily practice around gratitude. So I hope you found this to be inspiring. I trust that someone needed to hear it today. It's always great to come on here, even though today was a little bit quick. I felt like this was a powerful message and I would love to know if you do keep a gratitude journal or if you've started one because of this podcast, please share that with us. Share it in the comments on any of the platforms that you're listening to or on our Facebook page. And I'll just take a moment to remind you that we do have a Monday Morning Mojo Facebook group that would love for you to be a part of where I share more content and resources in the Facebook group. And if you found this to be inspiring, please share it with someone that might need to hear the same message. And if you haven't hit that little button that says follow or subscribe, please do it right now. Hit it right now. And I appreciate that because that will allow me to continue to bring great things for you and great speakers to you. Thanks again. And I'll look forward to seeing you very soon. I'm grateful for you.